Hey guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. I'm here today to talk to you about the SD Hunter arrow shafts from Deer Crossing Archery. Now, I haven't done a review on these, but I have actually been using these for the past couple of years. Um, I've got these set up a couple of different ways. You'll notice on the outserts that they're a little bit different, but we'll talk about those as we go. And I've got a couple of different kinds of veins on here. But I want to talk to you about um, why I chose these SD Hunters first. I've got a bunch of deer crossing arrows, love deer crossing arrows, uh, some of the toughest arrows, the most affordable arrows that you're going to find and I have had good luck with all of the deer crossing arrows that I've used from their target shafts to their regular hunter shafts to these SD hunters. I've had really good luck with all of them. Um, I prefer the SD shaft one for the weight because I can get it, I can really change the weight uh, to what I want it just by changing a few of the options. The other thing I like about the SD Hunters is because of the design, the smaller diameter of the shaft and the outsert, I get better penetration with these arrows. We're going to shoot into a target here in a minute um, that and show you just the difference in the penetration that I get with these arrows versus an arrow uh, standard shaft that's similar to the same weight as these. Um, so what I've got here, I've actually shot these um, SD Hunters on hog hunts and I've actually shot them on deer hunts and had really good luck with them every time I've shot them. I've shot several hogs with these and I've shot several 200 plus pound hogs with these with a hog setup, 70 pounds, you know, a fast bow and had really good luck with them as far as getting penetration and getting my hogs to put down effectively and uh, quickly. And on deer, I've also used these and had really good luck with them on deer. I have not had, I've had one deer that I didn't get a complete pass through and on that deer I was actually shooting, um, I took a shot I shouldn't take and, and I shot down through her neck and tried to get into her body and what I actually did was hit that bone right there going across the front and just didn't get uh, good penetration. But other than that, all the broadside shots I took with these arrows, these arrows blew through and you know we're stuck several inches into the ground behind them and I've, I've been extremely happy with the SD hunters uh, for hunting and and on hogs deer uh, whatever I've chose to hunt with these I've had really good luck with them um, so talk to you about some of the specs of these and we'll do a little bit of shooting these are available from a 500 all the way up to a 300 uh, stiffness these are available in 0.006 0.003 and 0.001 straightness. Um, these are also available in um, a couple different options as far as veins. I've got a couple different here. I've got a three inch fusion vein and I've got a two inch fusion vein. Uh, and these are also available with a standard bowing vein. Um, I've never seen those. I don't know what they look like, but these, these are the two fusion veins and I like the fusion veins on mine. Um, they're also available with a pin knock and a bushing on here. I've got the standard knocks on both of mine. I don't have a use for the pin knocks because these for primarily for hunting, but if you're going to be doing some target shooting with them, you might want to get a pin knock and that is an option that is available. Um, these have a couple different outserts available. We've got an aluminum outsert here, which is about 30 grains, and we've got a stainless steel outsert here, which is 120 grains. Now these arrows are pretty much identical except the one with the stainless steel outsert is actually a 300 spine arrow versus the one with the aluminum is actually a 350. Because of the weight of the stainless steel outsert, I had to go up in stiffness to get it to fly right. But for me, this is a hog setup and this arrow actually ended up weighing about 520 grains with the extra weight of the 300 spine and the extra weight of the outsert. Still allows me to use a 100 grain head, so I don't, you know, if I go up in spine, usually I'd have to go up to 125 grain head, but with this stainless steel outsert, I can go to a 100 grain head, still get me a nice, heavy arrow for hog hunting, for deer hunting, for doing whatever I want to do with it, and uh, I can still stick with my standard arrows. This one here is a little bit more along the lines of what I want to actually shoot for um, whitetail with the aluminum outsert on here. This one's going to weigh in and a, three, a 350 spine. This is going to weigh in for anywhere from 425 to about 450, um, depending on how how I've got the length set on this thing. But as of right now, it weighs about 440 grains, and I'm actually going to cut a little bit off of that and get me down to the 425 grain mark, which is exactly where I want to be 
for deer hunting. So you can see I've got the same arrow and I've got a huge variety. I've got almost 100 grains of difference in the two arrows and I can get both of these arrows to fly extremely well out of my out of the same bow. Um, now each one of these is going to have they're pretty heavy arrows uh, without the the outserts on them they're still pretty heavy and I like a heavy arrow these are about right up my alley like I said I like 400 plus grains for deer hunting the 300 spine is 11.6 grains per inch um, the outside diameter on that is 0.254 so really tiny outside diameter these can pretty much fit in most standard shafts um, the 350 is 10.2 grains per inch and it has an outside diameter of 0.245 the 400 spine is 9.2 grains per inch, has an outside diameter of 0.238. The 500, you're down to 8.3 grains per inch, and it has an uh, outside diameter of 2.32. So the outside diameter on these is very tiny, less friction. Uh, it's been proven to me time and time again that these smaller diameter arrows, uh, no matter what the weight, even if they're identical to a standard shaft, you just get better penetration with them. Uh, with these outserts, going through and causing less causing more damage and you got less friction coming through with the smaller diameter it just they just penetrate so much better and that's why I like these for for hunt especially if I'm gonna hunt something like a hog that's big heavy bone big heavy muscle these are what I'm gonna shoot because I'm gonna get the penetration I need and it doesn't seem like it matters whether I hit bone or not I get the penetration that I need to kill something like a hog with them. so we got a couple different shafts I'm gonna shoot here just to show you some penetration difference this is an a uh, a deer crossing hunter this one is the deer crossing SD hunter the weight difference on these is about a hundred grains um, just to show you the difference in the penetration you get not only with the heavier weight arrow but with the um, smaller diameter now I'm gonna try to find some other arrows and we're gonna shoot some multiple arrows into this thing and just show you which one penetrates the best and I think you'll find it's gonna be this SD hunter this thing weighs in at about 460 grains as it is right now so we're gonna do a little testing and I'll show you I'll tell you that the grain weight of each arrow as we as we shoot them into the testing what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this walk-on target because I've got a walk-on target down here that is very consistent as far as its density goes and it's like new so it hasn't been shot a whole lot and the penetration on it should be pretty consistent from spot to spot so we're gonna try four or five different arrows here and just show you how this SD hunter compares to the other arrows um, that are standard shaft they're just gonna have different weights to them and we'll tell you those as we go along. Alright we're we'll gonna be shooting a prime rival exact same arrow or all these arrows are gonna be shot out of the exact same bow first one we're gonna shoot is a 352 grain deer crossing standard diameter hunter shaft we're gonna be shooting from 10 yards away Next one we're going to be shooting is a deer crossing hunter shaft standard diameter. This one's going to have a little bit more weight to it. This one's going to be about 425 grains. Got another deer crossing here and this one is about 435 grains. This is another deer crossing. This one is 390 grains. Okay, last but not least, this is our SD Hunter. This is going to weigh in about 460 grains. And as you can see so far, all of our arrows have hit and been pretty consistent about penetration. All of them are very, very close to the same amount. So as you can see by looking at our arrows there, the, uh, the small diameter shaft got just a little bit more penetration to it than the other shafts. Now it had a little bit more weight to it and a little bit less drag to it, but it's going to get just a little bit better penetration because of those reasons. And when you look at that and you think that's pretty insignificant, you know, the amount that it's going in compared to the other ones, that could mean the difference between one lung and a heart and killing a deer instantly or one lung and trailing a deer for a long time and possibly not even finding it. Uh, and again, these targets, I mean, this is the most consistently dense target that I have but a target is a target it's not an animal so that's just to kind of show you I can consistently do this I can put arrow after arrow in here and I'll get better penetration with the smaller diameter shaft so let's find out how tough this thing is now
All right, first up is going to piece, be a piece of one inch plywood. We're going to shoot this from 10 yards. We've got really good penetration. Let's see how the arrow is. Oh, wow. Actually shot through a piece of plywood and through a piece of a one by on the back side that had screwed on there. So shot through both of those and had four to five inches of penetration on there and no problems whatsoever with the arrow. Let's shoot again. If I can get it out. All right, I got a little one by two up there now. Um, the last piece I had to take a hammer and beat the thing out with a hammer and then when I got it out to a certain point I had to take a screwdriver and drive it out like a punch and then I ended up leaving the fill point in there so the same arrow different fill point and we try another different piece of wood just hopefully it won't get stuck this time because that last one was just stuck in there and I had to beat the tar out of it to get it out so hopefully I can hit this thing Oh, that's pretty good. Split it right in half. Arrow is okay. A little banged up, but. Pretty effective shot, I would say. Let's try something else. Oh, one by four. I have a little trouble getting that one out, I'm probably sure. Again, arrow is fine. Okay, one last shot. This is probably going to do it. The uh, outsert is getting a little bit bent. Shot it through four or five pieces of wood, hit it with a hammer several times, and now we're going to shoot it into a brick. I figure I got one, one shot left, so I might as well make it something really cool. Okay, so the brick did it in. You can see, drove the arrow back, or drove the point back into the uh, shaft there and just obliterated that thing. Uh, but wanted to see the amount of penetration it got on the brick. You can see right there is the hole that it put in the brick. And I've got an Allen wrench here. Um, it went in pretty far and did a pretty good amount uh, of damage to the brick. So, um, Pretty dang tough arrows. The uh, outserts, if you got the stainless steel outserts, to me those are even a little bit tougher. That's with an aluminum outsert that they uh, offer. So that's the SD Hunter, and that's my Deer Crossing is my arrow of choice. And the SD Hunter of the Deer Crossing arrows is my arrow of choice for hunting. Uh, just does a fantastic job. Gets good penetration, tough as nails, and I mean the kind of arrows that for the money you can shoot and you can do a lot of shooting with them. Uh, this arrow, other than having that drill back in there, you can see is still in good shape. It knocks out a little bit, but other than having that part drove back in there, that's pretty impressive to me. I mean, that's an arrow that, that I'm sitting here straining, trying to break and can't do it. That is just a very, very tough arrow, like all the deer crossing arrows that I've tested. And for the money, you're not going to find a better penetrating or a longer lasting arrow, uh, tougher arrow than one of these SD hunters from Deer Crossing. So, for more product review, or I'm sorry, for more information on these SD hunters, you can check out the link in the description below, and that'll take you right to Deer Crossing's website. For more product reviews, how to videos, you can check out our website, and that's ikesoutdoors.com. You can watch our hunting videos on there, and you'll see me shooting these deer crossing arrows in those hunting videos and this is exactly why love these things tough as can be